children cold on one Halloween night, stormy and cold. Too much candy from their neighbors they did take. It is known that their greed set their fate. All the village's treats they did amass, except one last house whose gates no one would pass. To this spooky old mansion the craving children went. To the last of the town's candy, they were fast on its scent. Along the path of shattered sleep they cautiously walked. Greeted by cawing ravens and a black cat that stalked. Clang, 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 the cauldron-shaped door knocker rang. Creak, 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 the giant oak doors slowly swang. Standing before them was the cutest child, almost their age. With a wink and a wave, he invited them into his magnificent Victorian cage. To his parlor they followed, where an enormous mound of sweet treats they did greet. Where did you get all this candy? The children dared to ask. I took it from the good townspeople. T'was quite a task. Here, why don't you have some? He offered, presenting a tattered old sack. Several pieces they took smelled and tasted. But moments later they began to gag and hang. And the children cried. It tastes like shoe leather. And slugs mixed into a spare dough. I'm not surprised, the boy said. As I stole it, mm, nearly a century ago or so. The children's mouths agape. They did fear. <gasps> what is this boy thing standing far, far too near? And for the first time, he did smile, exposing teeth yellow, pointed, and vile. You, and with those bites, you now share my plight. To live in this mansion for eternal night. The thick doors groaned loudly and slowly began to shut. Uh -oh. The children raced for their freedom faster than any hunter's hungry heart. <laughs> what of their fate? Did they escape? No one knows, but have no fear. At least the town's candy is safe and shall never again disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.